The city of Phoenix has over 40 trailheads, making it easy to find a hiking trail nearby. However, Alexandria Cullen tells us you'll need to check the temp before heading out with your dog, or you could be fined. While the temperatures aren't too bad today, I've been out here for a while and I'm already starting to feel the effects of the heat. I'm here with my friend Jade, who doesn't give off the same signals. In fact, dogs don't even sweat. But don't you worry, Jade's been inside all day in the air conditioning and had her walk early this morning. But as the summer goes on, her walk will get earlier and earlier. With summer temperatures rising and plenty of sun in the sky, Arizonans and their pets take to the trails to grab some fresh air and get in their daily steps. However, with average temperatures reaching well into the triple digits in June, hiking with your furry friend may not always be an option. Our dogs don't know that it's too hot for them on the trails, and we will just want to prevent anything horrible from happening to our, uh, to our pets. Since 2016, the city of Phoenix has a rule that bans pets on hiking trails when it's over 100 degrees, but many people don't know about it. Some dog owners take these precautions regardless of the city rule. Of course, during the summer, it's just, it gets so hot. So we'll be going really early in the mornings or in the evenings to avoid the extremes of the day. Alongside watching the clock, experts at the Humane Society say bringing extra water and booties are other measures worth taking. Make sure you have plenty of water, make sure you're only hiking or you're taking those short walks early in the morning or late in the evening. Um, but the same kind of things that I think the preventatives that you would take as a human, you want to make sure you're also seeing and your dogs that you're taking out for walks. The city rule states that citations could result in a class one misdemeanor with up to a $2,500 fine. While the heat may limit your hiking, dog owners are encouraged to find other fun alternatives for entertaining their furry friend, like enrichment toys for inside the home or even a kiddie pool for some fun in the water. Other signs that your pet may be in heat distress include excessive panting and breathing. They may even stop or get sick on the trail. For more information on pet safety, head to the Arizona Humane Society website. In Phoenix, with Jade, Alexandria Cullen, Cronkite News.